a decay in societal norms. That's how the Yobe state government describes the seemingly unending cases of sexual violence being perpetrated in the state in spite of laws in place to serve as a deterrent. It's a worrying situation, more so because many cases of rape were reported during the first wave of the COVID-19 pandemic with an unusual surge during the lockdown. Similar abuse was reported well into the second wave and long after restrictions were eased. From the data we received from these uh, centers, we have recorded over 700 cases, and primarily most of these cases are either rape or intimate partner violence that have been reported and managed in those units. To provide proper care for survivors, the World Health Organization is partnering with the state government to ensure doctors, nurses and midwives are properly trained in the area of clinical management of rape and abuse between intimate partners. When it comes to treatment, what the health worker knows is as important as what he or she provides to the survivor. So in order to close the gap and ensure that our health sector is strengthened to be able to provide these services, we decided to start by equipping the health workers so that when survivors arrive at the health facilities, they can have holistic care as regards gender-based violence. Participants have gained a new insight into the management of gender-based violence survivors. Now they are asking state government to hasten assent to the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Law to allow quick dispensation of justice. I would like to use this opportunity to plead with the government to implement this bill because it is very, very much needed. I believe with that bill it will play a very important role in declining or reducing the level of the cases of rape in our society. They believe title laws will discourage perpetrators and lower the statistics of victims.